sand. Sand between my toes, sand in my hair, in my jeans, in my mouth at some point or another. There's sand everywhere. But the bothersome sand is worth the view I come to watch every snow-covered evening. The river reeks of ashes from the fire a few years ago. It brings back all the memories from the blazing fury that was brought on by some unknown god striking his wrath upon our town of sinners and hell preachers. Small towns like these, with glass-littered alleys, they're known for the abundant churches and the elderly, whose obituaries appeared in the monotonous newspaper that attended every day. They're known for the houses with peeling paint and ice-covered roads. They're known for knowing everyone but seeing no one. But the river, that's what draws the lonely and broken souls of the youth back to this nameless town. Here we can hear the phantom trains that no one ever sees. The tracks are always empty. But the whistle still blows, and the coyotes still howl at the moon that never shows her face. On this river bank, we can feel alive between a series of bonfires lit, dancing around the broken beer bottles from long ago and the crushed hands of today. We feel alive at the river. But now that the town is gone, and the elderly that had died so many years ago have finally stopped attending the services, nearly all the youth have disappeared, except for me. I stand in the mixture of snow and sand in the winter, and I watch the sunset throw the brilliance of crimson across the surface. I find my serenity here. I have a sense of belonging when I am so alone on this lonesome bank in this nameless town that reeks of soot long blown away in desolation. I feel at home on this river bank where there are so many lively parties just a few years prior. Maybe it is wrong that I come back to this place when I'm over the age of legal tobacco purchases, but I still sit and litter this beautifully isolated bank with my cigarette butts that match the ones I had thrown in years prior. I stand in this mixture of snow and sand, and as the sun sets, there is a longing in my heart for the houses that were falling apart and the people that I never saw except for in the 24-hour gas station at 3 in the morning when I was trying to get my nicotine fix. I stand here and I wonder what happened to this town that made it so evil that God struck it down. But I stood on the same river bank that they found a little girl's body, bloodied, and the same river bank they found teenagers that jumped from the bridge to find some relief from the nameless town. The same bank that they found bags of heroin and meth, that they found countless syringes and marijuana roaches. This bank has seen some serious shit in its time. The same river that we found solace in was the river that others were finding the afterlife in. I spent my time watching the sunset, and after the red was gone and the memories of the orange flames died, I watched the stars. The stars that my friends that died in the fire danced under with me. The stars that pled with the suicidal teenagers not to jump. The stars that begged the murderous father to not harm his baby daughter. The stars that watched the homeless souls overdose on drugs. Sometimes I stepped in the water. The current was full of fury and sadness. It wanted someone else to feel the pain that it had been through. It tried to pull me under countless times, trying to bring me to rest at the bottom of the river with the bones that the police couldn't find. Trying to bring me home with those that I loved. I always stepped out before it got too strong, before its cry for blood enticed me in further. And so I sit in the sand and I let the sand cover me. You